It is crazy how fast AI is devouring and affecting every aspect of our lives. It seems like in just a few years, everyone and their grandma will be using AI to do at least one thing. Just recently, I saw this new device called Rabbit, which is able to learn your commands through voice and can communicate and help you do things like never before, which is interesting. For art and design, it is even more apparent. Take for example this new AI called Triple AI, which is able to create 3D models based on just few words. It is able to turn images into 3D models. And of course, Tripo is not the only one. Just recently, we reviewed a similar AI called Meshi, and there is a ton on the market today like Luma AI, CSM, and Sudo AI. But I think by far, Tripo yields one of the best results, at least based on my tests. For example, let's try to generate a realistic Batman model in some other AI tools before we try it in Tripo. I'm gonna type the same prompt between all of them. Batman, realistic, detailed, textured, and so on. So let's plug it into Meshi and maybe Luma AI. And as you can see, Meshi in particular seems kind of lost as it did offer somewhat of a good phase, but this is nowhere near what I was expecting. Basically, Meshi doesn't deal very well with realistic and highly detailed models. With Luma AI, and while it did provide a full model, it didn't generate even nearly as good of a result. You can see the model and the textures are very blurry. Now. Let's try to plug the same prompt into Triple AI, and the difference is night and day. Sure, it is not perfect, but this is a much more usable result, in my opinion at least. You can download the model and plug it into Substance Painter or Blender, and most of the things here can work as a secondary object in your scenes, or maybe even as an ideation method to start modeling. And to show you how easy it is to use Tripo, in conjunction with Blender for example, Let's build a scene and render it in Blender. And here I have this table. It looks kind of old, like from the 1800s. Now what would go above a table like this? I would say an old teapot, old books, an old plant maybe, or statue. I think you can start seeing a pattern here. Now, can I go ahead and model all of these manually? I mean, I can. But what I'm gonna do instead is let Triple AI give it a shot and generate that for me. So jumping to Triple AI, I'm gonna write a simple prompt, old, antique, and books. Four drafts will be generated, and to be honest, all of them look great. Also, if you scroll down, you can find similar models that you can use. This one on the top left looks perfect, but I don't know how to feel about these pointy things at the top. I guess we will go with this one and try to adjust it in Blender later. Now go ahead and click generate so that your model is generated with the best quality. You can see the progress under gallery. In the my models tab, it will take about 5 minutes, give or take, depending on the complexity of the model. Now the process is easy as importing those models into Blender and adjusting some of these materials and textures as well. One thing that I can notice is that most of these textures is overexposed or too bright for some reason but this can be easily fixed if you just drop an RGB curve on the color and decrease the brightness. A few models later, and that's it. It is super easy, and you can incorporate different models in your scene, which is gonna be great. And this is not everything. We mentioned image to AI earlier, and Tripo has also one of the best image to 3D on the market. I think the reason why Tripo AI seems to be able to output better results than the competition is in part due to their implementation. Triple AI powered 8 research papers that they publish for different new image and texture 3D implementations, like cross-domain diffusion, Gaussian splatting, and constrained diffusion. But at this point, I'm just naming stuff. The thing is, I'm not an expert in computer graphics, at least on the back end. But some of these research papers are just fascinating to read through so I'll try to link them in the description so you can check them out. All the papers were done by a company called Vast. They developed the 3D foundation models and Tripo is one of their products, which is based on those models. This includes Texture 3D and Image 3D, not to be mistaken by Vast AI, which is a totally different company in a totally different industry. So back to what I was saying, 
Image to 3D for example, lets you generate something from another AI. Let's take Midjourney as an example. We're gonna take the image and plug it into Image to 3D and boom. A very good 3D model in no time. If you can't understand how revolutionary this is, I really don't know how to explain it. But imagine making a whole world just by describing it. And this is what we are talking about. Or at least, this is what the tech promises. I feel like we are on the verge of something huge. And while I might be overselling it a little bit, or too much depending on your perspective, as you can see, the result isn't super detailed. But you have to look at the trajectory. I always would like to say, that this version of AI is the worst that we're gonna have, because progress can never be stopped. So think about it for a moment and imagine how powerful it will be in the future. Now, to use Triple AI, navigate to triple3d.ai and create an account. The free account should allow you to try just about everything. The interface is really simple, which I like. You can see under collections some of the previous and best generations and their prompts similar to one you will find in Midjourney. For example, the first one reads, a golem made of stone, and look at the result. Just an amazing super detailed 3D model with just a couple of words. And the beauty of Texture 3D is that you can iterate through infinite designs in no time. Once you type out a prompt, you can hit draft, and four rough variations of the model will be offered to you. You can either retry again and get different results quickly, or you can pick one of them. Once you see something that you like, you can hit Generate. Generate will take a bit longer, but it will refine the model and try to export something of higher quality. This will take about 5 minutes, give or take. And you can see the progress and the results in the tab labeled My Models. Now, back to Image to 3D. And as the name suggests, this AI model can generate a 3D mesh based on a reference image. This one is extremely impressive, like being able to predict details out of thin air. For example, I use this statue as an input, and while the details are not perfect, it predicts the other side of the face successfully, for the most part. To use image to 3D, expand its tab, and you will see a field where you can plug a picture. Now navigate to the picture and select it. It is preferable to use images with a monocolor background, in addition to one subject. Now hit draft, and a low quality model will be generated and can I point out how fast this model is being generated? I know this is a low quality rough model, but it is super fast. You can click retry and get another version, and once you're happy with the result, you can refine it to a higher resolution by hitting generate. Again, all the models will be in the My Models tab. Triple also promises an AI texturing model, which will be coming out really soon, but Texture 3D and Image to 3D are both really good. So give them a try by clicking the link in the description and try them for yourself. You can also generate whatever you want. The sky is the limit, literally. For pricing, Triple is currently free, especially their Discord server, with both Texture 3D bot and Image to 3D bot. And they are building a viral developer slash creator community. By the way, their API is open for application as well. Furthermore, Triple Discord community will host all kinds of events and workshops to showcase what Triple can do and teach you how to merge Triple within your workflow. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and start using Triple AI today. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.